Yo, what's going on everybody? John Viet here, back with a brand new video. I just wanted to go live real quick for you guys. I wanted to make a quick video on, um, you know, how to make $10,000 um, your first month of pressure washing. So we just went live, okay? And um, first off, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you want me to um, set up or manage your Facebook ads, send me a text at 843-888-2371. I've been helping over 125 people now so um, if you're interested um, we're only uh, letting in 150 people so 25 spots left uh, for me to go ahead and help you out with that so just send me a text and um, I'd love to help you out so uh, secondly in the links in the description I've got a link for a J-Rod which I'd love everybody to come check out and I do have a private one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentorship that you guys can check out at johnviet.com it's a $50 uh, one month or uh, one time access so lifetime access to have you know one-on-one -on -one access to myself forever so check that out as well but in this video um, I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video for you guys on you know when you're just starting out your business how can you go ahead and start a business from literally nothing and go ahead and turn that into something making repeat ten thousand dollars per month now when you're just first starting out you want to kind of pick which avenue that you want to go okay um i see this a lot and i just want to you know explain the different avenues that you can go with your business right here you've got somebody who's um you know i've talked to thousands of people um you know over the years and you know there's two different methods of starting your business. There is one that you want to do, uh, you want to work a full-time job and you want to do this on the side, okay? You want to go ahead and build a pressure washing business on the side. Now, that's cool, but you're gonna be um, limited as far as how much you can make, but you can still make that $10,000 um, you know, per month. Or, there is the other route where you invest, you know, five thousand. Excuse me. Invest five thousand um, dollars in the front. Get a trailer. Get nice equipment, and do this full time. What's going on, man? I'll get to your question in a second here. Um, but there's two different avenues now. If I were to go ahead and do this again five years ago, starting out, I would go through the route where I would go ahead and buy the best equipment, invest about $5,000 in the beginning, and I'll own that equipment forever. And I can sell that equipment uh, when needed, okay? So, but there is where you can work a, a part-time job and, and, and get by with only, you know, pressure washer and stuff like that. So, in the beginning, what do you need? You need equipment, okay? So, there's two different routes. You can go and buy a trailer, or you can just buy the pressure washer itself and you can still both ways make $10,000 a month. Now, when, after you have the equipment and I do have links for the equipment uh, from Amazon if you guys wanna check that out um, down below, but once you have equipment, this is what guys don't understand, okay? A lot of people will start off and say, okay, I wanna invest you know, $5,000 in equipment, but I don't wanna invest anything in online marketing, yard signs, um, and I've got a link for, for yard signs below as well if you wanna go ahead and get um, 100 yard signs for $99, but, you know, people don't wanna invest any money, okay, in, in any type of marketing. Let's think about McDonald's. How much money does McDonald's invest in marketing? Okay, they invest, what, 75% of their entire, you know, revenue back into, um, you know, or whatever it is. Think about Amazon, how much money do they invest in marketing, okay? They've got billboards. Every billboard from here to New York, from Florida to New York, there's a McDonald's um, billboard, okay? How much does McDonald's spend on marketing per month? They are everywhere. So for you to go out and invest $5,000 in equipment and spend zero on marketing, you're crazy. You're not gonna get any business. Nobody's gonna know about you. How far can you get with friends and family? 
you know, bugging friends and family. Hey, let me do your, hey, let me do your stuff. Let me do your stuff. Let me do your stuff. That's not going to work forever. Posting in Facebook groups. It's too much time. You have to go through the route. After you invest in your equipment, you have to pay money to get known. Yard signs, business cards. I don't really, who cares? Business cards or whatever. Google ads, Facebook ads. You have to do paid advertising, guys, um, when you're just starting out your business. If you really wanna get $10,000 a month minimum, it's very easy. You can do that being a one-time guy or you can be doing that with a big setup with a massive company, okay? You just have to get your your your, your business out there through marketing. A lot of you guys are uh, that I've talked to, uh, you know, I've talked to probably three, 400 guys in the first two months. You're, you're going out and doing the Facebook ads, but you're doing everything wrong. It doesn't make sense. You, you have to, A, have somebody like myself set them up for you, or very go and, and do research. You have to do research. You can't just go out and boost a post and think that it's just gonna work, okay? So after you have your equipment, the second step is really getting your marketing on point. This is gonna take months, if not a year, to understand you know, mistakes, all that stuff. So don't give up on your first try, okay? So yard signs are a great way. Um, you know, friends and family, yes, that's great, but it's not going to last forever. Do you want consistent business? You have to go out and, you know, promote your business, guys, okay? Um, next door, Google, Facebook, create a Google My Business, create a free Facebook page, go into Facebook groups, okay? I've got a free Facebook group. We've got 1,200 members. Go in there, learn, 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 okay? Um, cold call, every single business in your area. Go to gas stations, you know, go out and talk to people, okay? So after you have equipment, the first way is to market your business, okay? And lastly, after you've gotten some jobs, you want to really hook them, offer them packages, and, and, and boost your ROI, okay? Re, uh, your, your, your return on investment, okay? And there's something else called your average ticket order. You want to go from a $99 all the way up to you know $500 per ticket. You want to upsell the customers on the on the windows, on the concrete. What's going on, Andrew? Hey, Andrew, uh, your J Rod is going to be shipped out, or your J Rod is going to be arriving tomorrow, buddy. So thanks for buying a J Rod for me. Okay, so um, you know, lastly, so you buy the equipment. You market your business, and lastly, um, you know, to grow that business, you really want to have systems in place, email list, autoresponder with SMS, okay, follow-ups with your customers, um, you know, discounts for booking them yearly, quarterly, okay, whatever it is, you want to grab those customers, put them into your flow of continuously servicing their homes while you're continuing to market and bring in new customers. So you've got this big puddle of customers, okay? And, and you know, you've, you've got them all like, it's like a fish in the pond. You wanna just keep them, keep them growing, okay? So you've got, you've got the equipment, now we market. Hey, appreciate that, brother. So now that we are marketing, to customers, we are taking customers and we're bringing them into our flow, okay? And our flow is our email list. You know, there's several different ways to get customers into our flow. You know, we've got our yard signs working. We've got um, all that good stuff working, okay? So lastly, once we've got our marketing on point, and this is gonna take months to years, okay? Um, you know, it, it, you really have to figure out your marketing, what works best for you guys. Um, all I could recommend is really, you know, Facebook, Google, um, next door is a great way, post in your Facebook groups, knock on doors, whatever it is. You just have to understand your service area and how do I reach those customers, okay? So, and, and lastly, <clears throat> we're going to 
hold on to the customers we have treat every just like Tillman Fertitta says okay we're gonna treat every customer like it's our own okay service each customer like they matter service them like they're their only customer you have okay and each customer we want to get more out of them we want to upsell them on the windows the concrete the roof okay um, whatever it is we want to upsell them and have customers and get the average ticket up okay five hundred dollars hey appreciate that brother i love it i love it so you know we have customers treat each customer like they're your only customer and we want to boost the average ticket order okay so get in front of them with the 99 dollars special for the for a few windows whatever it is whatever special you have and then upsell them on the other stuff how many places have you heard of giving them a free trial a free 14-day trial and then they just upsell you and you know on multiple stuff okay so that's how it is that's the business flow that's how you get to your first ten thousand dollars steadily per month okay what's going on k2 so you get customers you get that customer to give you more money each time okay and then you you want to service them hey do you want to get on the schedule every single uh you know quarter that's four times a year at a thousand dollars a pop that's four thousand dollars per customer what and, and you you what's up harjas how you doing buddy and when you're running marketing you really have to boost you you can't charge cheap because now we're spending a thousand dollars a month on marketing minimum okay so you really have to upsell the customer and be very smart you know um after after the the third step okay so the first step is buying your equipment the second step is marketing getting some customers okay the third step is getting more out of each customer and having that customer come back to you every single uh year and then the fourth step is to you know keep pushing new customers into your flow to where you have a thousand people that you're servicing every single year okay that's five hundred thousand dollars right there okay if you get you know uh, five hundred dollars um per customer and, and that's very easily to do now the step number five to building your business once you have repeat customers and you cannot service um each customer what's up richard so once you have you know 500 steady customers or a thousand or whatever it is that's coming back to you year after year after year step number five is very crucial okay we go ahead and get our employees now we have a lot of profit to play with we've got new trucks running we've got four guys like i have in my business okay so that's going to take years to do but you know you have to go ahead and, and outsource your jobs to new new people that you know are, are working for you okay so that's the last and final step to growing your business is aligning all of the first four steps to where step number five you've got a lot of profit to play with and now we can start you know um hiring out you know other people duplicating the systems that we've put in place training new guys okay training people to be just uh, as good as yourself you know um, at that point you don't even have to worry about customers anymore okay you want to build it so big build that pipeline so fat that people are just coming to you you're the only guy that they trust with your house okay so this is a long-term game but let's go ahead and recap um, on you know if you, if you missed the beginning of the live okay so Step number one is pitch, uh, picking which route you want to go with your business. Do you want to work a full-time job and do this as a side hustle? Okay. Or do you want to do this full-time and get the best equipment from the get-go? Okay. So if you pick this avenue, 
that's fine. You're probably going to start with a lower investment cost and have more money to go ahead and invest in your business. Okay. So, um, you know, you're going to have a pressure washer, stuff like that. If you get the best equipment, you're going to be good for the long run and it's going to be a lot less headaches in the future. Okay. So I, I, I really recommend if I were to go ahead and do this over again, I would work a full-time job, save up about $5,000 and then invest in a very nice setup. Okay. Whether you're pulling it from your trailer, you've got a truck, all that stuff. Okay. So step number one is choose your business plan and get your equipment. Step number two is going ahead and marketing, 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 marketing. This is the most crucial step. You've got to get known. How do you market Google ads, Facebook ads, um, yard signs, business cards, in person, the list goes on and on, okay? Just figure it out what's best for you. Now, third step, okay? We've got to get those customers to give us more money and we've got to get them to come back every single year, if not multiple times a year, okay? And then, you know, and also in that step, we've got to take advantage of referrals. Who's around that are that actually need it? You know, go, go to different people's house, put up, you know, the little uh, postcards, whatever it is, door hangers, take advantage of why you're there, um, see who else needs your service. Step number four, is to bring, you know, fill, fill that, fill that big, you know, gap where you've got, you know, a thousand people coming back every single year. Okay. Build that list, build that email list, call people, whatever it is. Okay. And then step five is the big one. Outsource your jobs, commercial, whatever it is, you know, You've got to find employees to go ahead and do the work for you. We're a one man show. We cannot continue to do all this ourselves and it's going to be much profitable to get employees. So, um, you know, let's go ahead and see uh, what questions we've got here. Um, Juan says he's been watching you for one week now. My pressure washer comes in today. Uh, seeing your grind has been motivating, bro. Hey, man, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just here to help you guys out. I've got a Facebook group, Juan. I'd love to have you in that. Andrew Mills, I already got you, you buddy. Hey, Juan, I appreciate it, brother. Um, you know, the $2, that's awesome. I've never, that you're, you're my first um, super chat, so I'm very excited for that. I really appreciate that. Uh, Caesar said he just subscribed and rang the bell, too. That's incredible. Um, you know, I just started this YouTube and we're almost at, I think, 1,600 people. Um, the Facebook group's at, um, you know, 1,300. So it, it, we're just growing like crazy. Uh, K2, Harjas, Richard, how's everybody doing today? Um, if you're in the live, please smash this. Um, I'm actually doing a video. So, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and upload, upload this to my channel so you guys can watch it back. Um, hey, Caesar, the name of the Facebook group is... Um, pressure wash community. Okay. That, and, and all, any of my uh, videos, you can go down to the link in the description and, um, check out the link to my free Facebook course or group, uh, VA VA. Hey, what's up? Where are you located, buddy? Uh, have faith pressure washing services, LLC. What's up, John? Hey, what's going on, buddy? How you guys doing? Richard, how you doing, buddy? That's awesome, man. I'm glad everybody's doing well. We've Yo, Pink Flamingo, how is, uh, how's that commercial job? Or when do you do that commercial job, bro? Miami, Miami, Florida, Miami, Georgia. Say what's going on, everybody. Friday, 8 a.m. sharp. You and Malcolm, bro. Hey, I just bought my pressure washer. What chemicals should I use to start? Hey, big boy pressure washing. Uh, all you need is pool bleach and uh, eliminator soap. Um, hey, here, I wanted to show you guys something. Let me show you guys something. So, uh, right here, we have a recipe for washing a house, okay? Uh, this is from XJet themselves. Um, okay, so you can see. Now, um, 
they actually they they uh, they actually recommend in here that to use Dawn soap. So, I mean, if if you want to, if you if you can't afford the, uh, hey VA VA, I know you've got so many questions. Head over to johnviet.com, and I have a lifetime access to reach out to me directly. Okay, twenty four seven, we can talk all day long. Okay, johnviet.com. It's a fifty dollar one time access to me all the time and we've got a lot of cool people it's a very vip group okay so check that out um it's a one-time deal and you're gonna get very very limited access to myself okay so it'll just be me and you talking one-on-one -on -one all the time and i'll help you out with any of your questions so um yeah the, in here they actually recommend dawn dish soap so i mean um it's whatever it's whatever um so, you know, I, I recommend using uh, Eliminator, but um, so I've got to go set up somebody's Facebook ads right here. I was supposed to call them at 2 p.m. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick. Um, so sorry for leaving you guys hanging, but um, I'll catch you guys very soon, okay? Um, I hope everybody's having a successful weekend. Um, what CRM do you use? I use MailChimp, okay? So check that out. So. Uh, Thanks everybody for tuning in and I hope you guys can uh, enjoy this video later. Thanks guys.